Hello and everyone and uh, welcome to Technical Project 7 you guys. Um, okay first thing first let's open. We're done with TP6. Uh, you can see lots of stuff on my uh, desktop. Okay let me open the first one. Mesa Air. Alright so um, uh, simple stuff actually I think this week. So let's dig into it right now. Okay we are gonna work with um, layer effect, layer styles, and text element of design okay and so let's open a new background okay 7x5 72 dpi rgb mode all right so if i even use that one new uh, we are gonna go in um, inches 7x5 72 by the way which is everything that is visual RGB we're good to go okay do we need any special type of color of background let's look at that background color of white we're good to go okay and then we'll make the foreground color uh, black and the background color white in the default color button okay so that's pretty much it and let's see that so you click OK right here okay and uh, let's make um, as uh, ask then uh, make the foreground color black and the background color white All right, so now um, just right here, right here, my cursor, right here, click on that and you'll get foreground, all right, and background color set up properly, okay? Now you can switch them up back and forth like that also. Now let's click on that one and change to uh, a red right here, okay? Okay, now we are going to basically uh, use the Marriott Pro Black size 72 and create some text, okay? Put your name, something else, all right? And then we're going to use the effects, and I'll show you most of them, not just the drop shadow effects, okay? Um, which is right here. And you can go through that, okay? And let me go through that. So, so now you select the text right here. It'll take a little bit of time for me because I have got the video story recording. Uh, the color of the text change right there, change it to red, very important. Okay, in the older version of Photoshop that wasn't important, but it is now. Uh, you are going to say select uh, all the way down, and I hope I have it. I'm not sure I have that font, so hold on just a second. Let me see, it's the Marriott one, huh? If you don't have the Marriott either on your computer, no big deal, choose another font. This is not uh, a huge deal for me at all, actually, okay? Um, because I understand people don't have it. I don't have it. Uh, I don't use that font very often. And so I don't have it, okay? And it's not by default on Photoshop. So uh, find something cool. Try to get away from fonts that are like... Um, too much flowery or too hard to read okay you guys in reality there's two type of font let me talk to you right really quickly you have classic fonts and uh, modern font okay modern font are a simple font like that all right let me see that and we call it modern font all right and the reason is there is no um little peg right here okay that i call serif okay you guys when in reality, let me put another one, I'll do uh, a certain font now, a, cl a classic font. And the classic font will be more something you are oh, like time warning. Hold on. Right here. All right. And I'll put right here, I'll say classic font. And the default, oops, sorry, there's a misspell. Right here. The default, frankly, you guys, is the little peg, as you can see. Right, you got, actually, this is a, a classic font too, I apologize, I can see the little pegs. Uh, so it would be, hold on, 